The St. Joseph School District faces many transitions heading into spring. Tonight's guest for Community Conversations with Charles Christian is Superintendent Dr. Gabe Edgar, who will address some of those transitions. Charles. Thank you, Morgan. Dr. Edgar, thank you for joining us tonight. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, our pleasure always. And uh, even our own local news stories tonight have a couple things that involve. We'll get to the tough one first, of course, the tragic loss of life of the uh, Benton High School student. If you would just tell us uh, what, you, what you've seen in regard to the response of counselors and all that in the schools today. Well, the response has been uh, very positive. Um, I actually went to Webster this morning and, and talked to the counselor and social worker and thanked them for everything that they did. And uh, Elizabeth Chase, who is our director of counseling, did an outstanding job. And there's never any perfect, you know, scenario sure. to stuff like this. But uh, you know, my thoughts and prayers go out to the family and everybody involved. And we feel like we we did a pretty good job. We're actually going to debrief in the morning and talk about some things that we can change. But um, all in all, uh, for a tragic situation, uh, the counseling department was a one. Great, great to hear. I know that was a difficult event on a. On a, on a more positive, uh, lighter note, uh, the uh, groundbreaking there at Hilliard today, you were a part of that. Tell us the importance of Hilliard, uh, especially alongside of Missouri Western for higher education in our community. Yeah, I think that one thing that I would note is that uh, you mentioned Missouri Western. I think it, it's, a, it's a great partnership. It's a way to navigate and show people how we're using Hilliard Tech School to the next level sure. and into uh, the workforce. As you know, we're a big manufacturing community and Hilliard um, is going to be a, a very positive thing. Um, even for as cold as it was, there was a lot of people that showed up today at sure. the groundbreaking and I appreciate, every, appreciate everybody's support. You know, one thing that we, this could have never have happened if we wouldn't have had Ar ARPA dollars that the city and the county uh, both put toward this project. So it shows you that it's a, it's a community effort um, and there's a lot of businesses out there that are, are backing this. Sure. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think it'll stop here. You know, I Good. think you'll see other expansions in the future because it is just that vitally important. That's great to hear. Well, uh, speaking of community efforts, I know just shifting gears a little bit, uh, part of your challenge post COVID as the still relatively new mm -hmm. superintendent, right? Only about yeah, eight, eight, eight months. Eight months, yeah. Feels like 18 years. That's right, that's right. That's right. But uh, uh, that transition uh, has included some challenges with uh, absenteeism, mm -hmm. attendance kind of issues. Where are you on that now? I know that school leaders and other leaders met together recently. Uh, tell us kind of what your thoughts are on that and how what direction that's going in. You know, to be honest with you, we're not where we need to be. And uh, the challenge with that is uh, pre-COVID, we were in a pretty good spot. Um, Strive for Five was working and then all of a sudden uh, kind of derailed the train, so to speak. But, uh, you know, we, we have, uh, we're working hard to figure out what that niche is to find um, the exact uh, place um, and how to get kids back in school. And uh, because that's that's important, you sure. know, if they're not there, you can't educate them. That's right. And um, so um, we have uh, hired uh, attendance interventionists. We actually posted 16 of those positions. We only have 10 right now uh, because of the job shortage. We can't find them, right. uh, but they're working extremely hard. And I think Charles, the biggest concern that we're seeing or the biggest challenge that we're facing is the partnership with the parents. Mm. Um, the relationship with the parents, the relationship with the students. And so, um, you know, we're moving forward, we're making a little bit of progress, uh, but I think all in all it's, it's going well and um, we're up to the challenge. All right, and speaking of kind of the other end of that spectrum, the very young children, the preschool children, the new, uh, uh, the changing over of uh, Mark Twain School. Uh, how is that going? And uh, talk about, I, I think not as many people were aware of the uh, of the vast need of, that St. Joseph had for preschool mm -hmm. education until this started coming up. Uh, talk about what you've observed in, in that way. But one thing I would tell you that uh, I was very pleased to see that it was a high priority as far as the vision forward, pro uh, vision forward process was, um, and um, but you know you have to reach those kids at a at a young age. Right. We, we just talked about attendance. Right. Uh, other issues that we face are from a discipline standpoint. Mm. So if you learn how to go to school at three, and you learn how to stand in line and and do some of the simple routine discipline things that happen each day, then you're not teaching that at six. <laughs> And um, so it's, it's, it's important. I mean, it's, um, I think, and you know, this is my opinion, but it's the most important thing that we have going 
um, here in St. Joseph. We have to reach those kids. Sure. We have to build those relationships. That is another opportunity for, to build those relationships with parents at an earlier age. That's right. And so you're not having to do that at grades five, six, seven. Um, so it's, um, uh, we're very excited about the opportunity. Um, I know that uh, change is hard sometimes, sure. and you know when you repurpose things or you close things, uh, people get upset. And but uh, we really do feel like this is what's best for kids, and you know every day that's what we do. You know sure. we walk in the building and we we say we're going to do what's best for kids, and as long as we do that, then we're doing our jobs. There you go. And d did the sheer need of that surprise anyone, or surprise anyone in your office? Just the fact that we have a space but we need much more was that a surprise or no I, I don't think it was a surprise mm -hmm. um, but it really became a high priority really fast okay. uh, so the surprise probably not the word but high priority <laughs> really really fast and sure. and I don't think we're that done there either Charles you okay. know I think there's probably a need to expand even further uh, right now a cohort uh, going into St. Joseph School Districts between 750 and 800 kids mm -hmm. And so if you think about that in these two facilities, we're gonna be close, but that's just with the four-year-old kids. And you know, that would just be the kindergarten class. And we want to, uh, right now we're serving three and four. And so the more expansion that we can do moving into the future, I think the better off it's gonna be for us. And the, the problem with this is you're not gonna see the results, not the problem, but the challenge sure. is you're not gonna see the results right now. You know, okay. but five years down the road, you're gonna see that uh, our reading scores are going to improve, our discipline issues are going to go away, kids are going to start wanting to come to school, and so it's, it, it's, it's exciting times. Very good. Well, finally, speaking of exciting times, your contract has been extended. Congratulations for well, on thank that. You. And uh, from the teachers and administrators I've talked to, you're known for uh, sitting in the classroom sometimes, yeah. you know, being able to show up and sit in. And doing that, just in closing, kind of what have you learned about our teachers here in St. Joseph? Well, we have a lot of good ones. Okay. Uh, we, we really do. There's a lot of good things that go on uh, within the walls of our school district, and I knew that going in. And you know that's one thing that uh, when I took the job in July, I really challenged uh, the superintendent cabinet to to help the community understand what the school looks from the outside in. We know exactly what it looks from the inside out. We know what goes on, uh, but we have to portray that image in the in the community, and that's what we need to do a better job of. But there's a lot of good things going on, and we appreciate. Uh, it's a tough job, sure. and it's a tough job that doesn't uh, pay the most, and. Um, so if I can help with some of these challenges, you know, with the attendance and discipline and fix some of those things, I think it'll be a better job. It's still gonna be a tough job, but I think it'll be a better job. Very good, all right. Well, Dr. Gabe Edgar, School Superintendent, St. Joseph, thank you for joining us tonight for Community Conversation. It's been very uh, enlightening for me, yeah. and I know for our viewers as well, and we'll have more news after the break.